Hi there, Andre here from Pete Motorcycles. I'm here at Eichmer 2023. Uh, I've just been wandering around and I've stumbled across a stand from a manufacturer called Macbor, or it's a brand called Macbor, uh, who are apparently based in Barcelona, and they have a lot of 125s, so I'm just gonna whiz through them. But then they have a couple of other bikes which might be interesting. So here we go, I'll give you a quick look around the stand. So what we have first of all is that they seem to have a number of bikes under the Montana brand, and this is the Montana XR 125. Not sure how useful that tiny little briefcase pannier would be, but it is a briefcase and the top box looks like a useful size. So, you know, they are, they are basic, but they've got upside down forks. Um, you know, it's a 125, it's quite a basic sort of steel frame. Uh, yeah, the dash is a sort of quite clear to see what looks like an LED dash. And now the rest of it does look quite simple. Uh, but if anyone's got one of these bikes and would like to add anything in the comments about them, um, you know, they're available in a few different colorways. There's a yellow and a red and a black and a cream. Then they also have that 125 platform in a thing called an 8 mile, which is kind of a sort of a retro scrambler thing. I'm sure that's uh, more appealing to a more youthful audience than me, uh, although I think they look great. I'm just not sure a 125 is really uh, what I'm after in a bike like this just at the moment. So yeah, they have another one that's sort of even more retro called a Lord, Lord Martin 125, and one that looks a little bit JPS-y over there called a Johnny B. Good. Um, right then. They also have an 8 mile in a, as a scrambler with a 500cc engine. And this bike here, which is new for 2023, it says, I don't think that, I guess that also means for 2024, called a Montana XR510. Now, I'm not sure whether this is a MacBoard owned bike or whether it's MacBoard branded and it's available under other, other names elsewhere. But if this is a 510cc twin, um, and it looks pretty good, you know? I mean, it's quite nicely finished. It's got a big alloy um, bash plate underneath there. You know, even like the brake pedal, and it's got a nice sort of uh, grippy, grippy end on it. Um, the exhaust isn't too horrendous, as it so often is uh, on bikes uh, made to a budget. Uh, you know, coming up looking at the dash, it's quite straightforward, quite simple. Uh, the controls is kind of this sort of soft touch plastic. Um, the hand guards are just plastic as well, but hey, so are the ones on my GS. Um, the levers look a little bit uh, budget, but they are adjustable. Coming around the front, uh, it's not a bad looking, not a bad looking bike. You saw one of those on the road. You'd probably take, give it a second glance, try and work out what it was. Uh, comes with engine bars on the side, as you can see there. And yeah, it's. Uh, I think that's quite tidy. They've got, I think, another version of this over on the other side that looks like it's been done up more for, more for racing. But before I get to that, they have these things called the, uh, amusingly the the Fun Plus One Two Five, which looks a bit like a kind of a Grom sort of size bike. Uh, if that means uh, means anything to you. It's probably a bit bigger than a Grom, a bit bigger than the Benelli TNT as well, but it's not definitely not quite a full-size uh, full-on motorbike, and it is called a Fun Plus 125. It's the sort of thing you could probably have on the back of the camper. Uh, what we have here is an 8-kilowatt uh, e-bike called an XRE. I'm not sure if that's for sale or if, or if that's just a concept. And then here we have a 250cc adventure bike. Don't see that many of these around. Um, yeah, I guess the CRF 250 Rally was maybe one of the last, last ones we had in the UK. I don't think I've seen Macball motorcycles in the UK unless they're sold under another name. But again, this one comes with luggage on it. Uh, I mean, it's basic, let's, let's not pretend otherwise. It's nice to see a bash guard <clears throat> down there that only covers the front and nothing, nothing else. But it does have a center stand, it does have ABS. Uh, you know, if you're looking to you know, just have a cheap run around, maybe something like this is, is, is ideal. Going through here, they have a few cruisers uh, under the name Rockster uh, for, for 125s. Um, and then uh, Rockster Flat look like they're flat trackers. Again, I think they look quite smart, um, even if they are kind of big bikes for, for a 125. And then over here, they have a thing called a Rockster 410, which I guess is a 400cc twin, uh, available in red. Uh, and then uh, again in black, gray, and then green over there. And then the last bike I want to show you is the one that actually caught my eye first of all in this stand, which is this uh, XR500. Um, now this one is fenced off. Um, it, does seem to, it does say Montana XR500 Racing Edition. So I don't know if that's got a sort of different suspension, if this is actually a, a competition bike. But I think that looks, that looks all right. I, I don't know how much it weighs or anything else about it. If I come up and have a look at the dash in here, it does actually have WP suspension on it, which makes me suspect that it's not actually a a bike for sale. Also doesn't have an ignition key, it does just have uh, that on off switch that has replaced it. It's still interesting to see that bikes like this are out there, uh, particularly when it's from brands uh, that I've not really come across before. 
I'm sure if you're Spanish, maybe Matt Boer is a, is a household name, uh, but just not yet in the UK and maybe not everywhere in the world. So there you go, there is my very quick video from the MacBoor stand here at Eichmere 2023. I hope that's been interesting and useful. If it has, please check out my other content from the show and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching.